Hey everyone, welcome to the part 3 of our Tableau series. In the previous two videos, we have uh, covered the basis of Tableau and overview of Tableau. And in the previous video, we even created a dashboard for our product sales. And uh, in this particular video, we are going to create another dashboard side by side. We are going to learn few new features that we have and we as you can see on the screen we are creating a vaccination dashboard in tableau so we have a database with us india's database people who are vaccinated and all other criteria that we have and i trust you all have been well and vaccinated so without wasting any time let us get started with our third series third part of our tableau series we'll be creating a dashboard on vaccination right yeah so i have opened my tableau desktop and if you see if you see we have this uh, excel sheet with us which is india covid vaccination all right uh, you can uh, you can also download this from uh, kaggle or any uh, source that is available online and you can work upon the data so uh, let us see how useful we can make this data and uh, what all conclusions can we make out of it so if you see we have this excel with us wherein we have the iso code all right as we are talking about india so that remains the same then we have the continent we have the location we have the date, new cases, new deaths, new test, total vaccination, people fully vaccinated, new vaccination, population and population, population density, median age and age 65 older, age 65 older. So this is our data with us, all right now uh, there are no subsheets within it so there's no need to form any kind of union or any kind of relationship between the table like we did in the previous video if you haven't checked the previous video i suggest that you go through both of the videos first the first video is about the overview of tableau uh, we have discussed about some of the you know features that you might not use all the time but having a knowledge of them will always keep you in the front like you know you you'll have an idea of what all you can do with your data and the second video was about creating a dashboard again so uh that that also will be useful before you jump into this particular video because i am trying to cover different features uh, while creating the dashboard so in the previous dashboard we have used some different features in this uh, particular dashboard we are going to learn different features and also create a dashboard so if you are with me let us just get started with creating our another dashboard for india covid vaccination all right so this is our data we don't need to do any kind of sorting here so we are just leaving it as it is and we have these uh, data types mentioned on the top if you see now let us move to sheet number one yeah this is our space this is where we are going to represent our data in the previous video i have explained what are these values what are dimensions and measures then we have discussed about filters as well the marks filter as well then here are your rows and columns where you'll be adding your values and this is where your data will be represented all right so now let us create a four sheet wherein we want to see uh, let's say we want to see according to the date how many new cases were reported and how many new deaths were reported right so let us make a representation for that uh, i'll drag this date date attribute into my columns now i want to notice you a uh, notice you to notice one thing 
that is uh, if you see this ear tab there's this plus sign here so this is basically the hierarchy that has been created we have talked about creating hierarchy in the first video itself so if you click on this the year will be divided into the quarters if you click on quarter it will be divided into month and if you click on month it will be divided into the dates but I don't think so we need to divide the data exactly through the date so let us just go by month for now all right now I want to see that how many new cases were reported and how many new deaths were reported. So all I need to do is as these are the measures right if you see these are the measures these are the dimensions. So all I need to do is I'll drag this new cases in my rows tab and I'll drag this new deaths in my rows tab as well. So now if you see we have got a line chart we have got a line chart so uh, this is how intelligent tableau is it will automatically you know uh, assign a chart that is suitable to your data if you want to change it you can go ahead and change the data uh, sorry the chart according to your requirement you have a pie chart you have horizontal bars stacked bars side by side bars you have all of these things right maybe for this one uh, if you want to go we can go for the line one only or we can go for this one as well so new deaths and new cases or we can go with the previous one this is basically your scatter plots all right I think this look good so here if you see we have a representation of what were the how many if you see how the data is uh, you know corresponding so these were the new cases that were reported in the month of January and the deaths new deaths started around March and it was at peak in September 2020 where new cases were this much it's like oh damn that's that's a lot so new cases and new deaths so if you can see uh, then when new cases reduced new deaths also reduced so the data is going simultaneously right so uh, here let us just leave leave this particular sheet as it is if you want we can uh, change the colors if you'd like or we can go with a lighter version of red right so I think this looks particularly good to me uh, you can make some changes as you like we can maybe change the title here uh, we can name this as mm new cases and deaths reported I think I think this looks fine let us uh, try applying this right and click on ok so this is our four sheet now um, let us side by side create a dashboard for us as I said you can either first create all the sheets together or you can you know just side by side create a dashboard and keep on dragging the sheets that we have so I'll select on floating here I don't want a tiled version so I'll just drag this here and yeah this is my first this is my first uh, data representation that I want to see in my dashboard for vaccination right also uh, you can even add a title to your dashboard uh, we didn't use that in the previous one so you can just click on show dashboard title all right so I'll just drag this down for you and we can just change the name for it we can say vaccination dashboard for India right we can set this you can apply I think this look good if you want you can change the color mm, you can go for a, a brown or some other color 
try applying it right I think this looks good and just click on ok so this was our dashboard heading you can even uh, add some other things onto your dashboard that is text image etc we don't need that as of now and you can even change the size so you can uh, add a fixed size you can add an automatic size and you can even mention the range here and you have uh, options for, you have all these options also to set your uh, dashboard size all right now you, you also have an option for device preview like you know uh, this this dashboard you can see it on your uh, desktop obviously but you can see it on your mobile as well because that is that is how compatible uh, you know Tableau is as I mentioned in the first video there are three other tools that are offered by Tableau for your dashboard publishing as well so you can use that on your phone also and you can use that in the default version as well all right so this was our first sheet now let us create another sheet you can click on new worksheet below and we have our sheet number two you can also drag and drop your sheets accordingly right so I want to have all my sheets together and then at last I want my dashboard so you can just drag and drop wherever you want to in the next in the next particular sheet we are going to visualize that according to the you know according to the year according to the dates and month what was the population right according to the population how many people were vaccinated or you can say how many people were fully vaccinated if you see we have two options here people vaccinated that means that they have got their first dose till now and people fully vaccinated that means they have got both their doses right so let us create a uh, let us create a data data representation for that um, it's pretty simple we all we need to do is I'm going to drag this date into my columns part and I want to see it by quarters or maybe let's see it by months only right and then I want to what I need to do is see people who were vaccinated and people also people who were fully vaccinated so this is the graph that they have given me uh, you can maybe choose for something like um, let us try this so it gives a you know a little 3d effect to our graph or if you want to go like this but I think this will be stretched a bit let us go with this one only if you see that there was no vaccination in the year 2020 and the vaccination started in 2021 quarter one right and uh, this is the data for January February and March and if you see that these many people were vaccinated and these many people were fully vaccinated and also we want to see the population right we wanted to see from the entire population how many people were vaccinated and how many people were fully vaccinated so i'm going to drag this position also uh, population also here right so uh, this this particular field won't be that much of help maybe I can just reduce this to quarter uh, doesn't doesn't give some nice representation all right so if you see the, this particular you can see the population has remained uh, constant itself we just need it for you know understanding the uh, the you know that how many people were vaccinated and how many people were fully vaccinated so if you see this is the population that we have and if I click on this if I click on this data you can see uh, in February that is quarter one of year 2021 people that were vaccinated were this much people that were 
fully vaccinated were this much people that were vaccinated were 2211475008 and population was this much at that particular time so you can basically compare from the population from the entire population how many people were vaccinated and how many people were fully vaccinated according to the data that has been given to us right so this is basically our second representation let us choose the color i think we can go with yellow for this one until lighter version of yellow you can set the name as people vaccinated right then uh, let's apply this and click on OK. Also here I was thinking let us try adding a filter here for date. So for example I just want to see in month of January 2021 how many people were vaccinated. If I want to see that I'll, I'll drag this date to my filters column right you can see that how do you want to see it do you want to see relative dates do you want to see the range of dates or do you want to see year quarter months how like whatever way you want to see you can see that uh, maybe i am thinking to go with months or month or year right i think let's go with month and click on next and see we have all this range of data with us january february so you can keep and remove the fields let us see if, if it is making any changes yeah so if you see my data has changed let us get all of them back and click on ok so we have a filter with us now i want to uh, in the previous video i told you how you can basically show your filter here so i can just uh, I have this filter with me now I can just keep and deselect and select and see how many people were you know if I want to see just for say January I'll remove all of them right and I can see a uh, deselecting all of them looks a bit difficult here so what you can do is you can even use a highlighter I'll show you how you can do that let us first drag this into our dashboard and also uh, also don't forget to apply this to all the worksheets that you have so we need to apply this to all using related data source so that the other sheet that i have also gets linked with the filter that i have added here so i'll just click on it all right and let's go to our dashboard one now i'm going to drag my second sheet right here all right and if you see we have got this filter with us so i'm going to keep this with me and people vaccinated will be shown here right so you can set the size and everything according to you this is what I'm getting for now right let us maybe reduce uh, the size for this a bit because this this particular representation requires a little more space so yeah this is this is our second sheet and now if you see if I make changes here so you can see how my graph is changes you might not be able to see a noticeable change but it is making changes so if I, I'll try yeah if you can see the graph both the graph has been changed so this is my filter also you can use a highlighter so if I click on this and you have an option for highlighter so you can choose for a month quarter or year uh, maybe let's choose for quarter right and I'll just drag this here so if you select quarter you can see for particular quarters also so for example I just want to see for the fourth quarter or I just want to see the first quarter I can see my I can see the part that has been highlighted for me all right also one other thing that maybe i didn't talk about in the previous video was this funnel option that you have if you select this particular sheet and if you 
use this uh, if you select this uh, if you select this funnel basically so this particular data set this particular representation can also act as your filter so whatever changes that I see here right if I click on here so my graph above will be changed accordingly so if I want to see people who were vaccinated and at that particular time how many new cases and new deaths were reported so this is how my graph will change so you can even select your chart as a filter instead of you know specifically adding filters to your dashboard now I'll deselect this coming back to the normal and yeah this is what we have with us right now um, All right, so let us go ahead and see what else we have. Uh, let us create another sheet. I don't know why is it not. Uh, I'll just drag again this to our sheet. Right. So now we have this properly. Right. And let us also add my highlighter for quarter all right now we are going to create another sheet I'll just click on new worksheet I'm going to drag this here right in this particular sheet I want to see the population population density and the total vaccinations that were given Alright, so let us drag the date in our column. If you see the filter has been applied automatically because I mentioned whenever when I was adding the filter, I mentioned that I want to see this particular filter applied to all the data, all the related data that is using. Now we are using the date here, so it is automatic be automatically being applied. Now I want to see the population density. I want to see the population density uh, let us go by months here as well I want to see the population density and then I want to see the total vaccinations that were given according to the population density that we have we have a filter applied as date and for this I think I would like to go for scatter plot we can go for uh, this particular one I think this looks good or we can go for the simple uh, simple uh, column chart that we have so if you see in the month of 2021 only uh, we have the population density all right and uh, I can I can just choose the filter later on to just see for 2021 or just see for quarter 1 2021 and if you see this was the this was basically the population density and this was the total vaccination which is quite less now if you see the total vaccination has increased over time in February it has increased and in March I think it has gone to 18 800 million so I think that is pretty good for us to see now let us change the color let us keep the color to orange or let us keep it teal for now right and I'll I'll name this as total total vaccinations right and I'm going to select this and ok so this is what we have and now let us drag this onto our dashboard I'm going to paste it here so this is a bit big of our representation maybe we can reduce the sizes a bit right So you can, you are free to, you know, move your, move this particular graphs that you get according to you, right? 
you can scroll them you can see accordingly and and we have our sections applied here we can maybe reduce the filter size a bit right we don't need this much space and if you see now when I apply the filter all of these changes all of these graph changes because the filter has been applied to all the related data that we have right moving ahead uh, I think our I think our dashboard is coming out pretty well right uh, moving ahead let us create quickly create another sheet okay in this particular sheet what we are going to do is we are going to see people who were fully vaccinated and still the number of deaths so I'll just drag in here and I'll see people who are fully vaccinated and I want to see the new deaths so I want to see how many people were vaccinated and the deaths that were shown and I'll uh, I'll just see this according to the months right so this is the chart that I'm getting also if you want you can uh, you can choose the this chart to be continuous or discrete as I mentioned in the previous one so you can select this for continuation you can see this is how it will show you in continuation or you can go for discrete as well now let us choose a chart which is uh, maybe more uh, let us go with this one or maybe we can go with this one I think this doesn't really match I think this this looks good right so I just want to see new deaths and people who were fully vaccinated so I'll add this here right right so this is what we have now if you see uh, if you see people these many people were fully vaccinated can you see the number of deaths that have been reduced so this is how important creating dashboards and reporters you can you it will be very difficult for you to visualize this entire thing when you are you know uh, just seeing the excel or seeing the data that has been given but with the help of uh, creating dashboards or with the help of all these sheets you can clearly see that when the vaccination uh, went people when the vaccination went high the number you can see how drastically the new death cases have been reduced right so let us set a color let us set a color let us name this as uh, let us name this as full vaccination full vaccinations and deaths right I'll click on this and click OK alright filter has already been applied and all I'm going to do is go back to my dashboard and drag this here so this is my another this is my another sheet that we have added to our dashboard so uh, you can you know you can try keeping the data as as uh, simple or as easy as you would like and here I know it it might look a bit little clumsy for now but I think I think this much works if you if you're not uh, comfortable with it you can you know uh, drag this down so you have all the space at below but it is it is usually suggested that try to keep your dashboards a single pager only because uh, it is very important for your dashboard to be very you know clear and easy to understand right so this is how I have my second sheet with me now let us create one last let us create one last sheet all right the fifth one wherein I want to see people vaccinated but of median age all right I want to see people vaccinated of median age so I'm just going to drag it this into my column 
and I want to see people vaccinated uh, first dose or second dose uh, doesn't matter but I want to see the people of median age who were vaccinated for this I am going to select my packed bubbles uh, packed bubbles chart for me or maybe uh, let us just people vaccinated and I wanted to see median age right and let me first convert this to months right this is one of the representation that you can have but this time I was thinking let us go with packed bubbles yeah I think this looks pretty good so you can see in the month of May 2020 how many people were vaccinated of the median age these this is basically your color which is helping you see so if you drag your you know uh, if you see here can you see this particular uh, filter that has been given so this basically shows the sum of people who were vaccinated and those who were of median age so this is how your chart goes from tealish color to dark blue so if you see in March 2021 maximum people maximum people of median age were uh, were vaccinated and then for February and then for January if you see the color the color you might not be able to see it clearly on the screen but uh, on my screen it is visible that the gradient is reducing for them for 2020 the color remains same because there was no vaccination for 2020 all right so let us go back to our dashboard and drag our last uh, sheet with us so I think let us let us reduce the size for this a bit right let us try to adjust both of them here now I want to have this filter that we have let us drag this in the corner right here and let us reduce the size a bit and we can increase the length and then we have our this particular sheet number five. Oh, we haven't named the sheet we have missed that but that is okay so I'll just increase the size a bit and we can can increase this size also we can increase the size for this as well and we can increase the size for little size for this too right so this is my dashboard I think we can uh, move the highlighter here right we can have people vaccinated here and we can also move this a bit here right I think I think this looks pretty good to me and if you see if I if I make changes here you can see how my how my all these particular things change can you see the entire dashboard is interactive and it is working according to my requirements so if I want to see the vaccinations or deaths or people vaccinated or whatever in January I can just deselect every other thing and we'll just have January with us right so this is this is my data for January and this is my data for entire months that we have also yeah we forgot to name the sheet let us name this as median age vaccination right I'll click on bolt and okay so this is what we have all right so guys we have created we have created our dashboard for vaccination in India we can see median age vaccination you can see full vaccinations and deaths you can see people vaccinated uh, people who were partially vaccinated and people who are fully vaccinated you can see number of new cases and number of new deaths reported and you can even see the total 
vaccinations according to months you can even choose for particular quarters and you can see quarter i will choose quarter one maybe okay i'll choose quart for quarter one if you see all the quarter ones has been highlighted on my sheet so this is how cool and how easy creating dashboards in tableau is i hope uh, i hope i was able to you know make you understand the entire thing you can you can try creating your own stuff you can change your dashboard size you can you can seriously do a lot of things with your you can seriously do a lot of things with your dashboard so if you see i have tried changing the size a bit so this is my entire dashboard now all right so so i would suggest take take data from online sources try using different filters try you know uh, just just play with the data crunch crunch numbers and see what what all insights you can gain this comes with practice only it's not it's not a it's not rocket science that you need to you know understand what to do how to do the when you when you are making it it might seem a little challenging because you need to understand what attributes that you need to choose to display a particular data and that will come only with practice so whenever you are seeing dashboards it might look a little complicated for you but now that you have seen and now that we have made it together you you can see how how easy and how uh, simple it was to create your very own dashboard so i suggest that keep practicing and keep working on with various data sets to have a clear understanding of tableau and and the process of learning tableau is actually never ending so there are so much there's so much thing that you can do with different type of data so next time if you're bringing up another data you you might discover two three features extra of your own so that is what it is about you need to keep exploring you need to keep you know playing with numbers playing with the data and see where it lands you all right so this is it for the video i hope i was able to this tableau series was uh, worth your time and if you have any of your queries or if you want any particular dashboard or any particular uh, thing that you need feature that you want to learn learn from this tableau series feel free to drop a comment below and we'll be there for you with another video all right so signing off all the best have a good day